This is a very quick demonstration of how to connect an external USB keyboard or external USB mouse to a Samsung Galaxy Nexus running Android 4.04. You can use the keyboard to type more quickly and also to control the Android phone. And the only thing you really need is this USB adapter. So you can buy this at most computer supply stores for about 20 Hong Kong dollars or uh, under 3 US dollars. And uh, what you need to look out for is that this end can fit into the USB port for the uh, Samsung Galaxy Nexus. So it fits. And the other end has to have a USB port for connecting your keyboard or mouse. So I'll connect this up to my keyboard and I'll show you how it works. This is the USB keyboard that I'm using, but any USB keyboard should work. I've now connected the keyboard to my phone. And uh, what I'll show you first is how to use the cursor. So you can move the cursor uh, using the left, right, up, down keys to go and navigate the home screen so you can go to the right and you see the green square around the icons that's where I've selected and of course to, to actually select you press enter show you the calculator so I use backspace to delete and uh, I say 23 plus uh, 88 equals enter so that gives you the number now to get out of an app usually you press escape there you get out and you also press escape to get back to the home screen now if you want to do a search on Google, you go up to this Google search tab and you type what you want. Say Hong Kong Observatory. Enter. Now you are in the web browser. To navigate the web browser, use the cursor buttons. So you go down. Left, right and now I've selected Hong Kong Observatory website. Enter. Unfortunately there's no way to zoom in that I've found apart from using the touch screen. So you have to zoom in using the touch screen still. But uh, you can still navigate using the cursors and select with enter. Now to go back you press control left. To go forward you go control right. Now the web browser is a bit different. You cannot escape from the browser using the escape button. It doesn't work. So instead what you can do is get back out to the home screen by uh, scrolling through the open applications. And you can do that by doing alternate tab just like on a PC. And you see all the recent apps. You can also do it by doing, uh, pressing the Windows button and Tab. It does the same thing. You scroll through the recent uh, applications. So you get to calculator and you, and then you press Escape to get out. <clears throat> so those are the some of the simple basic commands that you could do with a keyboard. Now I'll show you how to use a mouse.
This is the USB mouse that I'll be using, but any USB mouse should work. Now my mouse is connected to the phone. Now one of the things that the mouse can do that the keyboard cannot do is to unlock your phone from the sleeping status. So you wake up the phone by just moving your mouse and then you can unlock it by navigating the cursor to the lock button then click down on it and you can move to the unlock button and it's unlocked. Now you can move the cursor around and then select things by clicking like on a PC and if you have a scroll you can scroll as well if you don't have a scroll you can also left click and then scroll down and up to go back you can click on the back button here and you can scroll through the windows like that as well or by clicking and then moving through pretty much all the buttons you can click on with your mouse you can scroll through or use the scroll wheel whichever you like you can go to the recent apps by clicking on it like you would with your finger and you have the recent apps it's probably a bit more natural to use the mouse but um, of course if you want to use it um, do some fast typing then the keyboard would be more useful so this was just a quick demonstration showing you how to connect and use an external keyboard or an external mouse connected to your Samsung Galaxy Nexus I hope this was useful and thanks for watching